Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question, vertical order tra traversal of a binary tree. So in this question, we're going to be given a binary tree and we need to traverse it vertically. So let's just look at a quick example. So over here we have uh, this binary tree and we're going to go through it vertically. So first we're going to go like this. So we have the number nine. So we have nine here. Then we go like that. We have three and 15 Then we have 20 and then we have seven. I'll go into more detail about how we can actually do this, but I'm pretty sure you get the question as it is. And when I saw this question, I was like, it's not that hard. I knew what to do. So I solved it and I kept getting stuck on this one test case over here. And even if you look um, on the lead code forums, many people thought that this test case is actually invalid, but it's actually not. So one thing I want you to notice on, uh, in this question is this statement because this is kind of confusing and understanding the statement is a huge part of solving this question. So over here it says if two nodes have the same position then the value of the node that is reported first is the value that is smaller. So basically we're saying that we need to sort it. That's what I thought at least. So what I did is I sorted each of this. So instead of 9 and 7 which they expected I sorted 7 and 9. And this is where it gets kind of confusing because you would think that because seven, nine and seven are in the same uh, list, then in that case, you would sort it, uh, sort it, right? So that's what I did. I sorted it and I got seven and nine, but for the actual answer, it's not sorted. And the reason for that is when we go back to our question here, we need to look at this specific word. If two nodes have the same position and the word same position, means that they are on the same horizontal and vertical level. So only then they are considered to be on the same position. So uh, once you understand that, I think the question becomes a little bit easier. So now let's see how we can solve the question theoretically. Okay, so let's just try uh, understanding this one example. So let's say that we're given this tree over here, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna label it with the X and the Y value. So we're going to have an X value and that's going to kind of represent its horizontal distance in with respect to the root and the Y value is going to represent its level. So in that way, uh, our root is going to start off with the value of zero comma zero. Now let's go to the left. So when you go to the left, so the level is going to, we're going to increase by one level regardless, right? So we're going to increase our level. So the Y is going to be one now. So zero plus one. But when you look for our X, since we're going to the left, we're going to just do negative one. So zero minus one is going to be negative one. Similarly over here, uh, we're going to the left again. So it's going to be negative two. And then we're going to have, uh, we're going to increase our level. So it's going to be negative two comma two. So let's just see, uh, what, uh, let's just try to see what it looks for one. So for one, we're going to the right. So we're going to increase our value by one. So over here is going to be one and our level also increases. So our level is going to be one as well. So the root node of this element over here is one and it has a value of one. So we're going to go to the left of that. So that's one minus one, which is zero. So zero, and then we're at the second level, zero comma two. And over here, you're going to the right. So it's going to be one comma three since it's the third level. Uh, eight is the right again, so this is going to be two comma four. And this is going to be zero comma four since it's to the left. And this is negative one comma five, and this is negative two comma six. So this is how our numbering is going to look like. And you might be asking, well, what's the purpose of even numbering it in the first place? And let me just show you real quick. Okay, so for this, we're traversing through it vertically. And what separates it vertically is all their different x values. So all the negative twos are in one line, all the negative ones are in one line, and so on and so forth. So that is going to be our key value. And we're going to store this in some sort of dictionary. So I'm going to be using a dictionary in order to store this. And the key value, like I said, is going to be the horizontal value. And the horizontal value is nothing else but the x. So let's start off with our root. So we're going to have the value zero and zero is going to be one of our keys. And what are its values going to be? 
So what I did in the beginning is I only added the value of the uh, node itself, but that's not enough. We also need to add the value of whatever our vertical level is. So in this case, we're going to add the vertical level, so the y, so in this case zero, and the value of the node. So zero comma zero, pretty simple. So now let's go to the left, and over here we have the number five. So, uh, okay, so over here, we're going to have it at negative one. So negative one is going to be another key, and its value is going to be one comma five. Similarly, over here, negative two. So negative two is gonna be an other key. So negative two, and then we're going to have it in a value of two comma nine, and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna show one more example, and I'll fill out the rest. So over here, let's go to the number one here, and uh, we're at the x value, horizontal distance, of one. So one is going to be our other key. And to it, the value of it is going to be the vertical distance, which is one, and its value, one comma one. So I'm just gonna fill out the rest of it like that. Okay, so this over here is going to be what our dictionary is going to look like. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to some sort of array, and this array is gonna be what we actually output. And let's take a look of how we can do this. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a special function in Python called a sorted function. Our first goal is to sort our dictionary. And I already did that, so I have it starting from negative two all the way to two in ascending order. Okay, so we first sort our key values. And after we do that, we're going to go through each of our values in our dictionary. And we're gonna sort it. We're gonna be using the sorted function. So over here, using the sorted function is really important. And that is because over here, we have the value two and six. And obviously two is less than six. So what we're gonna do is we're only gonna add the value. So over here, we're gonna add nine comma seven. But, well, uh, when you saw earlier, they're both at the same, so they're both at negative two. So the question said that we had to sort it. So why are we not sorting it? And the answer to that is, we are only going to sort it when it's at the exact same place. What do I mean by that? Let's say this was two comma nine, and this was two comma uh, 10, right? When that's the case, when they both are at the same level, and they have the same key, only then are we going to sort it by the value. So let's say we had this case over here, then in that case, the sorted function, what it does is, since the first values are both the same, it's going to move on to the second value. And over here, we're going to compare our nine with 10, and we're gonna uh, place it in such a way that we get the smallest number first and then the biggest number. So this is where the sorted function is really important. Okay, so uh, hopefully you understand that. If you don't, just let me know down in the comments. I'll try to help you. Anyways, so now we're going to go on to negative one over here. And same thing, so one is less than five, so same thing, five comma six. Then we go to whatever is at the zero with the index, uh, I mean zero with the val key value of zero. So we have zero, two, and four. It's already nicely sorted out for us, so we just added in that order. We have zero, then we have two, and then we have four. Zero comma two comma two. Come okay, perfect. So over here we have so for the value of key of one, we have a uh, one and three. It's again sorted for us, so we're going to add one. We're going to add three. So one comma three, and finally we have this. Doesn't matter since there's only one, so we're going to add the number eight. So this is what the vertical traversal is going to look like. And over here, it is very important to understand the criteria where if it's in the same position. Only in that case, when both the vertical position and the horizontal position are at the same place, only and only then are we going to sort it according to value. Otherwise, we're just gonna sort it as it is. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense, and uh, now let's jump into the code part of it. Since the code for this is a little long, instead of going line by line, I'm just gonna kind of explain the overall idea. So uh, just so you know, we already have a tree node class defined for us, and lead code already defined it for us. Okay, so let's just go into our main function, which is this one over here. 
And over here, we're going to initialize a few things. So this is going to be kind of the values of our root. So when we started off at the root, it had a vertical distance value of zero, and it also had a horizontal distance value of zero. And now we're going to start off with an empty dictionary. So values, uh, and so I called it values, and it's an empty dictionary. And over here, we have the result, and this is going to be for our final results. So now what I did is I made a second function over here. Think of it as an helper function. And what this function does is it's the same as what we did earlier and how we added everything in a dictionary. So this is basically what the function does. And I'm calling that function here and I'm giving it the root, horizontal distance, vertical distance and our dictionary. Okay, so now let's look, take a look at this function over here. So we're gonna use recursion in order to get this done. Uh, so I'm gonna, so this is gonna be our base case. So once we reach the ending of one node, uh, then in that case, we're just gonna return nothing and we're just gonna end it over there. So that way there's an end to our recursive calls. So over here, uh, what this if and else statement does is, it checks whether the horizontal distance, because what we're gonna be adding as a key is gonna be the horizontal distance. So we're gonna first check if the horizontal distance already exists. And if it does exist, we're just going to append a tuple and the tuple is gonna consist of the vertical distance and the root value, so root.val. So that's all, so if it exists, we're just gonna go to that uh, key and we're just gonna append it. But if it does not exist and the horizontal values do not exist, then in that case, we're going to create a new key with the horizontal distance and it's going to be initiated with a list which includes the tuple of whatever node and whatever uh, distance it has. And after we do this, so each time we're gonna call the function. So first we're calling it on the left. And over here, all we need to do is we're gonna decrease the horizontal distance by one each time. And uh, so to the left, we decrease it by one. And for, so this one is for the right. Over here, we're gonna increase it by one. And over here, we call root.left. Over here, we call root.right, pretty simple. And the vertical distance is going to increase by one no matter what. So for both the left and for the right, the vertical distance increases by one. And we're going to be feeding it in our dictionary. So in this case, it's called values. So that's about it for our uh, helper function per se. And now once we go here, so at this point, after calling this function, we have a dictionary. So it contains all the horizontal distances and it also uh, has keys to the vertical distance and its values. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna sort the dictionary with the keys. So what, that, what I mean by that is, it's like our previous example, where we had negative two, then negative one, then zero, one, and two. So we're sorting the keys, right? We're not touching the values yet, we're only sorting the keys. So this is what that does over here. So we're sorting the keys. And uh, so we're gonna go into a for loop where we're gonna iterate through each of these keys and their values. And now we're gonna build a column per se. So we have a column here, and we're gonna do i uh, at the index of one. Uh, so we have a tuple value, and at the zeroth index, we have the vertical distance, and we don't need our vertical distance. We need the value, so we're going to go to index one. For i in sorted values x. So this is the sorted function I was talking about earlier. So over here, we're gonna sort our tuple and if by chance the tuple does end up having the same vertical distance values then in that case we're going to compare it and sort it according to the value but if it does not have the same vertical distance values uh, then in that case we're just going to sort it accordingly to the vertical distance so that's it so that's what i was so, so each time we're going to create a column it, it's a temporary variable which holds this list and we're going to append that list to our results. And this is going to be happening sequentially because we already sorted our dictionary according to the keys. And after we're done with our for loop, we're just going to end up returning our results list and that should be it. So now let's submit our solution and let's see what happens. Okay, so our submission did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to do any other specific lead code questions. And finally, do let me know if you have some sort of better solution or any optimizations. And thanks a lot for watching guys and do let me know what you thought about the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.